Hello, I'm Bonnie Browning with the American Quilter Society, and I'm here with one of our winners at AQS Quilt Week in Des Moines, Iowa, Eileen Daniels, and you're no stranger to winning with AQS, are you? Oh, thank you. I remember that you used to enter our fashion show years ago when we did that. I did. I and I think did. you won Best of Show, too, right? I did. Well, congratulations, and what a beautiful Thank quilt. You. Thank now, you. I have to tell you, while the judging was going on, I looked over here, and I guess I was over sitting over that direction, and I looked over here, and I said, that's a new quilt that we haven't seen before. And what a fun thing to have a ribbon, a winter ribbon on it. Thank you. All right, and so you're from Broadhead, Wisconsin. And so now that you're retired from teaching school, you're making quilts, aren't you? I am. I love doing the stitchery. Well, so why don't you tell us a little bit about your quilt, where the pattern came from, and how you designed the elements that you did. Okay. Well, the original pattern of the baskets and the patchwork part of it was a Jill Zomer uh, in Quilter's Newsletter. But then I redid all of the outside and the, the inspiration for different flowers. And the wool on here is from skirts that I wore when I was in high school many moons ago. So you washed them and felted them so I that did. you could just cut them off and have raw edges then. I did, and I dyed them first too. Oh, wow. So many of the colors that I dyed, although some of them are original colors of things that I had. And then I would do the stitchery on the units, the small units, before I put them onto the quilt. And then I applied them on and then did more decorative stitching afterward. So it's many, many hours <laughs> Well, of it stitching. certainly is. And, and I see because your stitches show up so well, what thread did you use? A variety of threads. There's some ribbons. There's um, some threads I got from Sue Spargo. There's pearl cotton, uh, just a variety of threads. And one little piece, I'm kind of known for my vintage textiles, this is a little piece that my mom crocheted, and it just is made a bit of a flower. And it made a perfect center, didn't it? Did, it did, it did. Well, I have to tell you that I think the weight of the threads that you use have added a lot of dimension to this piece. And of course, all of the fill of the baskets was your own design. Uh, it's a beautiful quilt, and okay, the, and the quilting, did you do the quilting yourself? I did, I did the quilting on my long arm. Okay, and, and what kind of long arm do you I use? I have a Handy Quilter Avante. Handy Quilter. Mm -hmm. well, so they're all my own designs. There's well, no it, computer work. And so, it, and it's all freestyle too, isn't it? It is. Yeah, because you've not repeated the same designs from one block to another. Correct. Well, congratulations on winning. And now that you're making quilts, I hope that you'll enter more quilts at AQS Quilt Week. <laughs> Thank you, they take a long time to make. <laughs> well, and we hope that you will enter AQS Quilt Week. The rules for 2017 are now at quiltweek.com. Just click on the contest tab, and we hope we'll see one of your quilts at an AQS Quilt Week event soon.